Hey everybody! Well, I was uh, driving up uh, Woodford Tatsby Road here in Keene and remembered there was an old access road up here and by golly if it isn't still here. So I thought I'd come up here. I know there's some trains coming. Come up here and shoot a video. Looks like the next one's going to be going downhill. That uh, bridge right behind me, the bridges, that is the Highway 58 overpass. And, uh, see the tracks back there behind me? So we'll catch one coming down. And if there's another one coming, I maybe we'll catch it too. Or maybe I'll just drive somewhere else since there's going to be a lot of trains because they had a derailment last night at Bealville. And they're, according to what I heard on the radio from a rail fan who was uh, down there, that uh, they're getting ready to uh, open it back up. So there should be a lot of trains. If you're a train fan and you're not on the Tatchby right now, <laughs> you'll be missing out. So I'll shoot them for you. How's that sound? Again, we are in Woodford. That's looking back to the east, eastbound, I should say. Actually, compass looking back to the south. And uh, the west end of Woodford is right down around that curve. So, all right, let's flip this thing around and see if we can't catch us a train. comes clear signal down at uh, the west end of Woodford that I saw so he's gonna be coming on through sorry for the wind nothing I can do about it I did on the history of Woodford. I'll link that in the description below. This right here where I'm standing. You can see where it widens out here. You can see the uh, couple of the piers for one of the older bridges. But right here was the end of what was called the short siding, the west end of the short siding. And it went on up there where my truck is parked just past the uh, end of Keene. You can see the, uh, I've got a couple of videos where I talk about the old east end of the short siding. Which was originally a house track. But anyway, signal house set right about here. The switch was up there. You can see where the ground goes into the whole road bed goes into the tracks. 
there were signals for it. And uh, right across the tracks on the siding was what was called a G signal. And I repeated the position of the signal at the end of the siding uh, for braking distances at that time. They're no longer necessary. They also had a G signal at Cliff and another one at Bealville. On the approach, the westbound approach to the crossover. You heard them kind of have that whining sound in dynamic braking. And uh, I'm sure you saw my video, I'm not sure of it, but I did the video, a short video of the derailment at Bealville. This is the same day, even though this video's been put up later. But uh, evidently they're going to start cutting trains loose. Woodford's about, uh, I don't know, 10 miles above Bealville. Yeah, about 10 miles. So they're going to start cutting them loose. And I imagine they'll be running nose to tail. Westbound BNSF under the Highway 8 overpass, under the Highway 58 overpass, headed into the west end of Woodford. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We will see you all later.